Hi everyone again, this is the second part or second episode of my 5G cord and in this video we'll see how we can make a phone call via a soft phone uh, to my phone which all of them are in the same network and the network which is related to that 5G core and we'll see the locks so stay tuned for the part 2 so here and also here so from now on it is somehow like the situation that you turn your cell phone on you know that it, it's gonna go for RRC config request it's gonna go for registration look these are the logs and if we take a screenshot from here or if we pause the all of the process we will see all of the channels I mean, PUSCHP CCH uh, all of the uplink and downlink channels are here but uh, also we need another Channel from these two, so let's duplicate them again uh, to show the IP addresses. So, maybe I get rid of this. Uh, let's put these two before actually down. See. This is the log. Look, this is the situation that uh, look the in at these two and from here. This UE by uh, 104. So we have attached request from 104 and uh, based on the K and the, I mean the all of the information. So we can see here 104 attached complete and uh, 106. There's attached request from 106 and here 106 attached attach complete and Look, there are lots of attach complete from this one, attach complete from this one. This is uh, the log that which is related to the UEs. And we are done with the MME, we are done with the core. We're not gonna con uh, you know, continue this, uh, watching at this log. Let's minimize that and come here. From the first uh, machine, so if we IP ADDR show, we will see these are the interfaces. Look. How much do we have? We have uh, four interfaces here, and uh, yeah, this one it it, it uh, used APN number one. It used APN number one, so and this one is used APN number two because of the range of the APNs. Like this is forty five, this is forty six, forty six, and also we can come here at uh, U plane number one. Uh, which is assigning this IP address. Just let's uh, clear this, this like We are going to do that, but if we journal, yes, let's get a clear uh, journal CTL U open 5GS UPFD F, we'll see uh, clearly here. What do we have? There is an IP address based on APN number two. There is an IP address based on APN number two, and there is an IP, you know. So all of the logs are here, but we're doing this. Good. So let's come here. What do we have? Can I ping something? Ping, for example, the number let's see. Definitely we can because of the IP address of that machine, which has the connectivity to the internet based on the home Wi-Fi router is possible but uh, what if one of the UEs they want to uh, check the connectivity to the internet for example OIP number one uh, which will be this OIP this one we're gonna ping number that CA uh, we know that these uh, users or these I mean these users they need to have access to the internet so yes they can uh, ping that and if we come here to at the U plane number one, you will see, for example, this is the IP address, this is the IP address of Humber. So, this IP address for this user, which uh, we can understand, we can uh, uh, realize which user uh, it is, is uh, going to ping the Humber.ca or this is the log of, or whatsoever, I mean, the netting. Anyway, so this is the first part that the user, uh, that the user have access to the internet. 
for the connectivity to interest okay the first part is done so let's go okay so let's go for the for the ins we're gonna work on this one uh, the first thing is that let's check iron iron and yes these are the IP address from the IMS, the range IMS. So we're good. I think it's the IMS. But for that, what I've done, I installed a SIP server on the uplane number two, which has the responsibility to assign IP addresses for IMS. I use this one. This one is my SIP server. If we see here, uh, uh, while the IP address of this IFRP, I can see here clearly the IP address of this machine is this one, which has uh, which brings uh, the internet into the machine. But this interface IP address is this. So what I've done, I've assigned this one, this IP address here, as my uh, SIP server. So the SIP server is here. This is the port of the SIP and the rest of the things. And everything is ready. So these are the users that I have. The first user, which is this user, is my cell phone. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, bring my cell phone to the network. So this one is connected. It's saying the IP address. This is the IP address of my cell phone. And yes, so how about these two? I'm going to use one of these. This one. This one uh, was just for the United, just for the internet. Sorry. Let's see this user. Okay. There is a soft phone on that UE which has this configuration. There we go. So I'm gonna open it and the rate. The first, uh, you know, the first message is uh, when a soft phone there is connected. When uh, you Turn on your soft phone. What will happen if, for the registration, the soft phone or the SIP user will send a message towards the SIP uh, server and say, uh, "I would like to register myself." And the first response will be for one, which is un unauthorized, from the server to the user. What does this mean? Does this mean you are unauthorized to uh, use this server? No, it means uh, you are unauthorized because you are uh, not encrypted yet. So you need encryption, and after doing encryption, uh, the response will be a 200, which is okay. So and they're gonna look. This is the first part. So if we come here and lane number two, we'll see the first communication. You are unauthorized for one, and then you are okay. So what will happen? Let's make a phone call and see the SIP uh, logs. So here, my cell phone is a one or two, and uh, let's make a phone call. Let's see my, if my cell phone is not silent. Dial. So let's look, trying, ringing, and it's gonna ring. Yeah, it's gonna ring. Perfect. So it works. I'm gonna reject that call. Let's see what do we have. When you want to make a phone call, uh, we'll, let's see the logs. Stop the logs. Uh, at first, the server with this port is saying to uh, the first command actually is uh, first the user is, uh, is saying, I'm, I'm gonna make a phone call. So the user is gonna make a phone call, and then what will happen here? The server is saying to the user, Look, I've changed even the port for the user. The server is saying to the user, I'm trying to make the phone call, and the code number for uh, trying is 100. And then again, it says, uh, okay, user, 
I'm going to tell you the one that you are calling is ringing. This is the concept of C. And the code number is 100. And this one finally, this is when I rejected the call. So these are the logs related to C. And these are the whole things that I've done on this project. Uh, I hope it was good. So now the second episode is finished. And by watching these two videos, we have an idea about 5G core, about the communication between UE to ENIB, UEs to each other, and ENIB to the MME. We have a better understanding right now. And uh, my advice is uh, that the best practice is just to follow all of the steps one by one and try to do it on your own. And uh, that's it. So if you enjoy the video, just show me a thumbs up. And if not, thanks for watching the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye, everyone. Bye.